Lord. Lakita, Samantha, Doretha, hey Jerry. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna start in just a minute. <clears throat> yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. From day to day. Mm. I am making um, shrimp creole today. I'm making my shrimp creole for lunch. I got some. Um, mm, I got some corned beefs in the oven. <laughs> So we'll start just a minute. I'm gonna let a few people hop on. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, Melanie. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> hello, hello. Demetria, Rhonda, Militia. We're making shrimp creole, you all. Hey, Dwayne. I wanted to start with that song, you all, <clears throat> because it's truly nothing but the blood of Jesus that's going to keep us safe. Always has been, always will be. It's just nothing but the blood. Nothing but the blood. So, I just wanted to play that. I love that song. <laughs> that was Tamala Mann, so I was just playing her version. Hi, Natalie. So, today for lunch... I'm making some shrimp creole. I think I'm going to keep some music playing in the background, y'all. On low. Hold on one second. Let me get a line. Alright, y'all. So... I'm going to turn my pan on. So I have some shrimp here. Um, shrimp Creole is really easy. I know there are different ways that you can make it. I'm going to show you all my simple and easy way that I make it. I have my shrimp here. They were fresh. Um, I got them from the um, seafood market. So I have that here. I'm going to show you my other ingredients. I have some onions, some bell peppers, some celery. Um, we got to have our either crushed tomatoes or your pasta sauce. Depends on which one you want to use. I got some mushrooms. <laughs> and, of course, we have our seasonings and whatnot. So, <laughs> so we're going to um, cook it up. So, how are you all doing at this time? I really wanted to come on. Y'all know I don't really go live. So, um, I wanted to come on and really just check on my people. Um, I don't watch the news, but this morning, um, you all, I turned the news on. And it was just crazy. It was crazy. I was like, oh my gosh, you know. So, I just kind of wanted to come on and, and check on you all. Got some butter. I'm putting some butter in my skillet so that we can saute our onions and celery hopefully you can see that you may have to move your comments okay so how, how are you all doing how are you doing um i want to come on to to uh 
to give you some encouragement that everything is going to be all right. I know some people are really, 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 really in a state of panic right now. But I want you to know that everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. <laughs> I promise you, it's going to be okay. Not because of me, but because of the Lord. Everything is going to be okay. <laughs> All right, y'all got to dump some uh, celery in here. This pan cooks kind of, and I got some onions. I got some onions, celery. I got some bell pepper. Somebody said the Holy Trinity. That is exactly right what I'm using. But always keep in mind that whatever I use in my videos, you all do not have to use it, okay? You always can mix and match or use what you want. You don't have to uh, use what I use. I love onions and I love peppers, <laughs> I do, and that's why I use it, and I love butter, but um, you have to make adjustments for what you can have and, and what you like, okay? So always keep that in mind. We got a pepper that got away, it's okay, we got it in the trash. So I'm just going to saute these for a little bit. This is a pretty easy recipe, like I said, when you just, you got some shrimp up in the freezer or in the refrigerator and you just want to know what to do with it this is something that's really easy it's really good i got some rice right here i'll show you i cooked it up in some chicken broth and um a little uh, vegetable oil so i got that already cooked and set aside so this is just lunch this is just lunch um dinner is going to be corned beef and cabbage i've already um put the corned beef in they'll be in two hours in about 30 minutes so um, I'm gonna check on those after two hours. I'm making two corned beef. I'm gonna make some cabbage. I'm gonna do some potatoes. <laughs> so that's what I'm making today. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. So you all doing okay? I know, right? Can you smell it? <laughs> I know it smells good. Hey, let's see. Hey, Tammy. Hey Donovan. Alright, you all, you gotta uh when you ask me a question, make sure you you know ask me again if I don't see it. Oh Randolph, you fasting? Yeah, we start ours on April 1st. We'll be fasting as well. But you know you all I I, I have so much peace and I just I thank God for it. You know, I thank God for peace because it's a peace that only He can give. Like, I cannot explain to you the, the, the peace that I have. You know, it only comes through just having him in your life and through relationship. So my prayer is that you too will feel the peace. That you will be at peace in your home. That you're not, you know, feeling overwhelmed or chaotic or afraid. I don't want you to be afraid. Um, people of God. People of God. God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. And you got to really, it, and really it's times like this that brings out whatever is in you. Whatever is in you is going to come out. So if you're walking around afraid, it's a time for you to check where your faith is. Okay, it's a time to check that. Alana, go back in there with uh, Layla or in the room with Aaliyah. Or you're going to get popped on live, sweetheart. You're going to get it today. You're going to get it today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, Marlo. I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, Marvin. But God is good. He got us. He got his people. He got his people. Um, he really does. I mean, like I said, I can't describe it. I'm just at peace. I just got peace. I know that all is well with me. All is well with my family, my children, um, my home. Everything is going to be all right. So once you saute those a little bit like that, add that in. Now, your seasonings are up to you. I'm going to add some minced garlic. Layla, 
And I'm just stirring that in my pepper. You about to get it spanking. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> and I got some chicken broth. You need to get her. Yeah, like now. Now, you can use either crushed tomatoes, which I have a can of that, or you can use, like I was saying, like a pasta sauce. So this is one that I use, um, Michael's of Brooklyn. It's just a fresh tomato and basil. Just wanna add that in like that and stir it up. We're gonna add in some Italian seasoning and some bay leaves. And you kinda just add in whatever seasonings that you like. What did you say? Oh yeah, she gonna get jacked up. She gonna get jacked up. She, uh, Alana is very, um, Alana is very, um, not playful, uh, energetic. So she has to, have, I have to keep an eye on her because she'll, so I'm gonna add two bay leaves. She'll hurt herself, you know, she gotta be watched. <laughs> And I can't watch her if I'm cooking. I'm gonna have to bring y'all in this pot. I don't know if y'all can see that. Oh, it just smells so good. So I added, I added two bay leaves. You add one or two, whatever you like. I am gonna add in my mushrooms. And this is just, I drained them. My green onion, I mean green onion, green giant. <laughs> but leave those out if you don't like mushrooms. I love mushrooms. I absolutely love mushrooms. I do. They're so good. So we're gonna stir that in. I have a little bit of my Creole seasoning. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that. Now how much you add is up to you. I recommend that you add, at least add about a half teaspoon. Just taste it, you know, and then add a little more if you like it. Y'all know I'm big on you all making your food how you like it. Um, recipes are great. It's great to follow recipes. But I want to encourage you that you can become an amazing cook just by, you know, just, just taste it. See how you like it. Okay? Because every time we follow a recipe, it may not be exactly what we like or something may be off. You know what I mean? So you just want to make it the way you like this is a little adobo I'm gonna add in. Just a little bit, I need to taste it first. We're gonna add in a little bit of our soy sauce as well, but I need to taste this, you all. And we're gonna add in some of our chicken broth. And that just adds in flavor, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna add in some flavor. And I'm adding in about half a cup. Okay. You want to stir that in. This does have to simmer. And usually it takes about, I would say, I would simmer mine on low for about 30 minutes. Uh, if you have longer, the longer the better. Of course, you're not going to add in your shrimp yet. You're not going to do that until the end, okay? Until it's almost done. You could also cook your shrimp separately or you could just add them into the sauce and they will, of course, cook within uh, about five minutes or so. So let's taste this. I'm going to put on another song for us. Let's see. Give me just a second, y'all. Brittany from Tallahassee. Ooh, that's good, you all. Mmm. I'm scared to do anything. <laughs> this is good. This is really good. I'm adding a little bit of my Greek, only because I'm a Greek head. I'm a Greek fiend. I love Greek all purpose. It's just so good. I love these people. Whoever made them, they are anointed by God, okay? <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, so I'm gonna stir that in. So let me give you a close up so you can kind of just see what's going on. Hey, from Mississippi. Okay, so it's thick. It's not, um, you know, this is how you want it. We got our onions, our bell pepper, our celery. We got some bay leaves in there. We got some minced garlic. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> it's good, okay. <laughs> so it tastes really good. We got our chicken broth in there, our mushrooms. I do have to add some of my Italian seasoning. I'm only gonna add a little bit of this. This really is for you all, and it's just to help boost that flavor. You want to use Italian seasoning when you're using just the crushed tomato because what you're doing is you're helping your uh, sauce to be, to have that flavor. So you really need these two together. My sauce is good, but I'm going to give it a little extra. Mm. Okay. But if you're just using crushed tomatoes, honey, add some of this Italian. That's how I showed you all how to make your spaghetti sauce. Uh, get crushed tomatoes. Add in some Italian seasoning. And then add in, you know, whatever else you want. But these two, the Italian seasoning is really what you need. Let's move this over here. So you're going to stir that in. It smells so good. And then we're gonna let it cook on low. Ooh, yeah, I'm just making a mess. The one you've chosen to love. Hold on, y'all. I have to wipe my stove off. I just don't believe in that. It's like against the law, it should be, to just let your stove be dirty when you're cooking. <laughs> like uh no <laughs> you gotta clean that stuff out okay. honey hold on that's who I am I love this song y'all <laughs> it's one of my favorite songs <laughs> okay so we got that cleaned up. All right, so once you get everything in there, the only thing we did not add, you all, is our soy sauce. Normally with the soy sauce, you can add it in or you can wait until you serve it over your bed of rice, which I have my rice over here. And I say that because it has the sodium in it. So, um, hold on, y'all. So I have my rice here, so. I literally use nothing to make rice. Somebody called me a human rice cooker. <laughs> but I did chicken broth. Um, I did chicken broth and uh, an oil in that uh, vegetable oil in the rice. So it's already done. Oh, Roxanne, that's my pastor. His name is Hart Ramsey, H-A-R-T. Ramsey, R-A-M-S-E-Y. So you can... Um, it's called It Is So, so you can just uh, go to YouTube and type that in. Hot Ramsey, It Is So. <laughs> whatever I speak, whatever I speak, come to pass. You know, uh, during this time, it's just a really good time to encourage yourself, you all. You see, they already got us where you need to be staying home, which, to be honest, that's wisdom. <laughs> it's wisdom to stay home um, only so that they can get everything under control with this virus but I am so convinced and so confident that those of us who believe in Jesus that we're going to be just fine not to say people that ain't ain't but I just know I have such an assurance that all is well I am not scared at all like literally I'm watching the news like oh my gosh you know like I feel bad I feel so bad. I really do. Because um, you just want people to be okay. You know? You don't want people to be scared and panicked and running around. And 
You know, you just, you know, your heart should go out to people, if anything. So I am praying for God's peace to fill your hearts and your minds. Um, let me put the uh, top on this, you all. We're going to have to simmer this for a minute. Um, that's what I'm praying for. God's peace to fill you. God's peace. God's peace. Um, I can't describe it. It's just, you just know when you have it. Um, you're not worried. You're not scared. Um, you just know all is well. Like I was telling my aunt this morning, whether we live or we die, we are going to be with the Lord. It doesn't make me afraid one way or the other. <laughs> it just doesn't. I'm just, I'm good. You know, so it's like, it, it is, it's a great place to be in because, because it is, <laughs> you know, you don't want to be panicked. You don't want to be scared. So, um, I'm just praying for God's peace for, for everybody that you just have his peace because we need it. We need it, especially at this time. And nothing, nothing that's going on is taking God by surprise. You know, God is not sitting in heaven saying, oh my God, I didn't know this was about to happen. You know? Everything that's happening, God is already aware. One thing we have to understand is that God is all-knowing. So with that being said, anything that the enemy does, hey Mike, anything that the enemy does, um, God is already aware of his plan. So with that being said, we're safe because if we believe and trust in him, he already has us covered. He's not going to let the enemy overtake you. He's not going to let the enemy defeat you. He's not going to let the enemy kill you, especially if your hope, your faith, and your trust is in him. So, yes, Carol, I'm making shrimp creole. We're giving it a few minutes um, to, mar uh, not marinate, to uh, simmer. And then we're going to add in our shrimp. And I have some rice already cooked. And then we're going to, um, we're going to eat some. <laughs> so, um... The main reason I came on today was not really to make the shrimp creole. I wanted to give you all some encouragement. And I just wanted you all to know that everything is going to be okay. And I think sometimes we just need to hear that. Sometimes um, we, we all need encouragement at one point or another. I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are. We all need encouragement from one time or another. It's going to happen because we all get to that place where we're a little shaky in our faith. But I'm here to share with you, this is not the time to get shaky. Um, I was telling my aunt this morning, it's almost like there is a line being drawn. And either you're on this side or this side. This side being, I trust God. This side being, I don't. It's not going to be an in-between. There never was a gray area, even though some of us like to say we're on the fence. There never was one. Either you trust God or you don't. And there are going to be more situations that are going to occur in this earth, in, in this world, that's going to make you make a choice. You got to make a decision. This is decision time. Okay? Who you going to believe in? <laughs> you believe in God or you believe in man? You believe in God or you believe in man? And it's time. It's time for you to make that decision. You really don't have any time to not make a decision. It's like, if this is the time. This is the time. Like, God, you know what? I'm going to trust you no matter what. And be okay with it whatever God says whatever he does be okay with his decision because he's God how do we argue with that how do we argue with that so be encouraged today don't be afraid you ain't got nothing to be afraid of <laughs> fear is not of God I promise you so when you're in fear you're not in faith and it's just a waste of your time it's just something to torture you <laughs> Because you don't have any control either way. You can't control if that virus come in your house. You can lock them doors and spray Lysol everywhere. Hi, y'all. You can lock the doors and spray Lysol everywhere and it'll still come. You will still get sick. You like, How did it happen? How did it happen? <laughs> so don't, don't be so, you know, I mean, do what you got to do. Take precautions. But, um... <laughs> You know, don't think that you have any control because you don't. You don't. That's why it's best just to trust in God because that way you know you're safe. So no matter what happens, you're safe, okay? You're safe, you're safe. So I'm not going to wait the whole time, you all. I'm going to go ahead and add in my shrimp. 
Oh, praise God. <laughs> Hi, Diana. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my shrimp, you all. It smells so good. But normally I would let it like simmer for about, like I said, 30 minutes or so. Um, well, let me let it simmer a little more. I'm gonna check my corned beef. Let me check my corned beef first and then I'll add in the shrimp, okay? I am Veronica. I have corned beefs in the oven. I have two. I have two corned beefs in the oven. <laughs> Let me see if they are whoo, hot. <laughs> Let's see. Whoo. They look so good, y'all. They look so good. <laughs> Lindsay, I live in Dothan. I live in Dothan. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Let me. Oh, they're nice and tender. I'm going to let them go a little longer. I'll probably cook my corned beef about two and a half hours. They're almost at two hours and 11 minutes. So I'm probably going to do two and a half. I'll post a picture of my um of my corned beef. So I, I shared a video yesterday of you know making corned beef for those that wanted to make it today. Um so if you want to make it, I have video. I have a couple of videos actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my shrimp in. And then um once they are done, I'll taste it. Oh, praise God. I really felt late to come on here and, and share that. I really did. Um, God doesn't want his people to be scared, man, or in fear. That's not from him. It's just not. Now, you can cook your shrimp separate, or you can just add them in your sauce. I'm not doing the separation. I'm going to put them in here, stir them in, and let them cook for a few minutes, and they'll be done. We know shrimp does not take long to cook at all or they will be overcooked. <laughs> so, um, just know that, you know, the Lord doesn't want you to be, to be fearful, okay? So I'm just stirring in those shrimp in the sauce. And it's so good when you just add in, um, I mean, serve this over rice, you all, with a little soy sauce. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's just so good. Don't be scared, Angie. Don't be scared. <clears throat> the main thing that we have to understand is that it starts with you first believing that God has not given me the spirit of fear. Um, as we get to know God, we we get to know who he is. We get to know his character. And um, he's, he's not going to, um, hey, from Zimbabwe, he's not going to make you, he doesn't want you to feel scared. Why would God want you to feel bad? Okay. So you have to understand that he does not want you to be fearful, okay? He does not want you to be fearful. It doesn't come from him. It doesn't come from him. And, and that's one of the things, once we get that, like, okay, if I'm fearful, that doesn't come from God. The Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. And that this time, if you have a relationship with Christ, you're not fearful you're just not matter of fact you got so much peace you don't even understand it yourself because even God says the peace that he gives us surpasses all of our understanding and that's where I am it surpasses my understanding I have no idea how I'm so calm in the midst of chaos it's like so much is going on and I'm just like <laughs> I can't be worried even if I try it even if I try to be worried, I can't be. I can't. I just can't. So, 
Uh, Dino, this particular uh, dish that I'm making today, the uh, shrimp creole, I already have a recipe for it posted. You just type in cooking with Aisha shrimp creole, it'll pop up. <laughs> it'll pop up. So if you want to know how I make it uh, in a shorter time frame, you know, to the point, y'all know I love videos. I normally don't do lives. Um, so if you need to see the actual recipe and how I made it and measurements, I'm pretty sure I said all that and I think in there, then you could just uh, type in cooking with Aisha shrimp creole and the video will pop up and you'll be able to see it. <laughs> so, so yeah, I just, I don't know y'all. <laughs> yeah, Joy, he is a good pastor. He is. He is. God led me to that church, and um, I have received so much um, good teaching. It, God had had already began to change um, my 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 thinking, my mindset, because I was sharing uh, yesterday on the live in the weight loss group. You all know we're gonna start our fast April first, but I was sharing with them just how I know I was taught so many wrong ways about things growing up. And when your mind has been shaped and molded a certain way, because I've been in church all my life. And then God had to put me in different, under different teachers to get me, to get my mind together. You know, um, I, that's the best way I can explain it. It's not that the other people were bad or anything. It's just that they can only give you what they know. But <laughs> how many of us know that there, there, there is an actual, um, it takes the Holy Spirit, you all, to teach us things. I'll say that. It takes the Holy Spirit to teach us things. And when you have his spirit, you're able to actually receive revelation and receive the truth of what something is or, or reading God's word. You can, you'll get truth from it and then you can, he'll give you vision and you can see, you can see <laughs> the truth. That's all I can say. You can see the truth. Um, and that's important because we need that. Go. Hold on, you all. Go ahead, Alana. Go sit down. How did, how, how, Layla? What you got going on? Hold on, you all. I'm looking for something. So, I wanted to see your questions, too. Thank you, Rochelle. Thank you, Madeline. Don, his name is Hart Ramsey, H-A-R-T-R-A-M-S-E-Y. Oh, praise God, Miss Britton. <laughs> You're welcome, Aisha. Thank you, lovely. Amen, Victoria. <laughs> we are at we are at one of the most greatest times in the most. It's like for some of us, this is a good time. For some of us, it's not. I'm gonna just be honest. Um, but this is a good time because uh, the Lord had given me that it's a uh, time for us to repent. It's time to repent. And, um, oh, I want this song. Sorry. I... Where did this song go? It's time to repent. And that's what, you know, the Lord had been giving me. And that's what we're focusing on in the weight loss group is repentance, you all. Repentance. And look at everything that's going on right now. So it's great because it's not a reason to be afraid. It's just that God is calling people to repent. We're at the end of time. We're at the end of the days. So it's like this is the time to repent and turn from our wicked ways and trust God. It really is. You know, I mean, it's up to you. I mean, it's a choice. He ain't going to make us do nothing, but it's a choice the choice so <clears throat> if you choose to heed you'll be blessed but it's so much gonna go on boys <laughs> Woo, child please I would not want to be caught off of the Lord's side I tell you that right now that's all I got to say <laughs> All right, y'all, it's not done yet, almost. And then I'll show you all. I don't know if you can see. So strong. So mighty. 
God is so big. <laughs> He's so big. God is so big. <laughs> Why do we try to put him in the box? Why do we try to put him in the box? He's big. Do we realize that the God that we serve and that we have access to literally parted the Red Sea? Literally created the heavens and the earth? Literally created us from dust from the ground? He literally spoke and things existed. They came about. I don't think we really got that. <laughs> I don't think we got that. So, <laughs> I'm telling you. My faith is just like, God, you can do anything. You can do anything you want to do. He can do anything he wants to do. He can. I'm just excited. I don't know why I'm so excited right now. <laughs> I am. I'm excited. I'm excited. And I want you to get excited. I want you to get excited. I want you to not be afraid, but get excited. This is a time that God is showing himself. I'm telling you, it is about to be just, God is about to reveal himself to the world in such a way because it is time. It's time. Like time is winding down. <laughs> time is winding down. <laughs> There's nothing my God cannot do. <laughs> There's nothing my God cannot do. So you just got to trust him, y'all. Just trust him. Trust him. You know, you got to trust him. What you got to lose? What you got to lose? I never understood why people would not just give Jesus a chance. What do you have to lose? It ain't going to hurt you. People are like it's going to kill them. To say, Jesus, I receive you as my personal Lord and Savior. I repent of my sins. Come into my heart and live and change me and make me into what you actually created me to be. Why That doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt at all, but people won't do it. It's like, I don't understand. <laughs> That's right, Donald. It's our season. It is, the, it is time. It is time for the people of God to raise up. That's what it is. And the whole world gonna see it. The whole world is gonna see it. Watch. There's nothing my God cannot do. <laughs> so I recommend you get on the right side. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Make sure you're on the right side. You know, because we ain't worried over here. <laughs> we ain't worried on this side. So, okay, I said I was going to do 30 more minutes. Uh-oh. That's for my corned beef. I'm going to do 30 more minutes. All right, y'all. This is almost done. Uh-oh. I'm going to turn it up some. Can I do? There's nothing. My God. Amen, Deborah. Amen. So get your, you got to do something. You got to let your, help your faith get reignited. You got to trust in the one and only, <laughs> the one and only. There's only one God. There's one God, one God. I don't care who people pray to, who they think they serving. There is one true and living God, just one. And one day, every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. One day, all, everybody, every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Even Satan know that. Even he know that. That's, the, that's why he's trying to keep you from doing it. That's why he's trying to fill you with fear. That's why he's trying to discourage you and distract you. But the devil is a liar. <laughs> he's a liar. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. I'm telling you what I know. Not what I'm thinking of or made up. This is what I know. His time is short. His time is short. And when you know you on the winning side, baby, you you chilling. You chilling. You chilling. So 
There's nothing a guy cannot do. <laughs> yes, that's a good song. That's a good one. I'm going to play one more for y'all. And then we're going to taste this food. And the then to like I'm going to go. Have a fun time and just hang out. To mm -mm. All catch up. Yeah. This is a I'm good one. To be able to go with my friends I love Miranda Curtis. She's really good. Miranda Curtis is really good. If you don't know who she is, look her up. She's good, anointed. I hate what people like your clients do. And um, we're going to prove once and for all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Amen. Um, I hope you don't mind me asking this. You're on the da da da. Oh, Rachel, where did I get that uh, jumpsuit? Oh, oh, where did I get that jumpsuit? You know, Rachel, I want to say TJ Maxx is where I got that jumpsuit. I order a lot of my clothes offline, but I know that particular jumpsuit that I had on Sunday was not one that I ordered offline. So it had to have been uh, TJ Maxx or, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it had to be TJ Maxx, y'all. You got to know your strength is in the Lord. And this is a time, you all, we have to um, we have to encourage one another and uplift one another. Because it's just time. It's just time. So be encouraged today. Everything going to be all right. Everything's gonna be all right. I didn't even have to really, like I told you, I wasn't tripping off this virus, but I said, um, I didn't go out and buy sanitizer. This is the same bottle I've had for a long time. I didn't had this bottle sanitizer y'all so long, it may be expired. I didn't go out buying sanitizer, I didn't do any of that. Now, what I did do is I bought some food because I went to the store and the food was disappearing. I said, Well, let me use wisdom, okay. But I shop at Sam's anyway, so a lot of stuff I already had. I just, I stay stocked up on things. So use wisdom when it comes to that. I don't know if there's anything left. Um, but I don't know, you all. I just, I just know everything is already okay, if that makes sense. I'm not worried. It's, it's like I, I know it's already well, and you got to know that. It's already well. Not it's going to be okay. It's already okay. God honors your faith. It is already well. It is already okay. I will not get sick. I am healed in Jesus' name. Um, you just got to speak the word. And trust. And trust God. <laughs> it's going to be okay. It's going to be all right. I promise. Just rejoice in the Lord. <laughs> it's going to be all right. And soon, whenever they let us do get back to normal life, it'll be back to, you know, but it's other stuff going to happen. I'm just letting you know right now. This, this is nothing. <laughs> so if you're worried right now, I'm concerned for you. I encourage you to get strength in the Lord. Really get anchored in Jesus because, baby, we got more to go. If you're planning on sticking around in this world today, um, things are, are really bad. The reason why we don't know it's so bad because we don't, they don't let us know. It's a lot of stuff we don't know that's going on. A lot of stuff that'll probably freak you out so bad it'll scare you half to death. That's probably why they don't say it. But just know it's going to be all right. <laughs> it's going to be all right. And one day, we're going to be in the new Jerusalem, baby. One of these days, and it won't be long, we're going to be in the new earth. There's going to be a new earth. Mm. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Woo! Woo! <laughs> you just got to know. You just got to know. It's just something that you know, 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 when you got them. You got to have them to know. Receiving Jesus allows you to know. It allows you to know. It ain't, you just know. I just know. I just know. 
That's all I can tell you. I can't tell you how I know. I just know. And you know what you know. <laughs> and you can't unknow what you know once you know it. <laughs> That's one thing I'm going to tell you too. You can't unknow it. I can't unknow what I know. Mm -mm. Yes, Lord. In the fullness of your grace. Let me show y'all this. You lift me up. Our shrimp are really, really, really like almost perfect. <laughs> so I'm going to. Yes, Lord. Strength like no other. You say what? Who? What? What's whose last name? Melinda. Um. Her name is Miranda Curtis. Did I say Mar Melinda? It's Miranda Curtis. Miranda Curtis. Strength like no other. I'm gonna take some of this for y'all. Reaches to me. It's really easy. So once you actually, you know, <laughs> get it together, let it simmer. Let it simmer longer than I simmer mine. So make sure you simmer it about, uh, before you put your shrimp in, simmer it about uh, 45 minutes if you have time. And um, that flavor, it'll it'll cook together and it'll, that flavor, y'all know how to do the seasonings. They, you give them time to really, you know, so. Give it a little time. And I serve this over rice. I cook my rice in some chicken broth and a little vegetable oil. That's it. <laughs> I saw that comment. Uh, my next husband gonna be chubby. He sure is, honey. Yes. <laughs> if you want to, you can um serve this with a little green onion. <laughs> Aw. All right, y'all. So here it is. You guys may have to move the comments. I'm a. Turn it around so you all can see, 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 so we can actually taste it. This is a shrimp, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this shrimp, y'all. Oh, I need my soy sauce. Woo! Boy, y'all don't be no help. Y'all sit here all this time and don't be saying nothing. Yes, Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That's probably a lot of soy sauce, but I like soy sauce. <laughs> yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mmm. I'm about to eat y'all. Mmm. stirred up hallelujah if i start shouting y'all just log on off because i'm about to go all the way in mm. it's so good don't leave miranda there you go stay girl stay god is so good he's so good he's so good y'all look at that uh Mmm, it's so good. I gotta feed the kids. 
Mm, this is so good, you all. It really, really is. You got to give it a try. Woo! It's just the flavor is so on point. God, it's so good. T.D. Jake, sing T.D. <laughs> um, I was trying to go back, but all right, y'all. That's it. I'm done. It's that easy. Like I said, the only thing I tell you, it's it's good to, like this, you all. But I know if you let that tomato sauce and that um, chicken broth and your your seasonings like cook on low for about 45 minutes, it's so good. Like it's it's just the flavor just explodes in your mouth and then add in your shrimp give it another 15 minutes and you're good to go so an hour it's really good check out my video um if you want on the shrimp creole easy good <laughs> you didn't start shot to girl let me tell you god is so good you all but he wants you to be encouraged today he really does be encouraged today be encouraged and and, and, and especially if you have children I really want you to be mindful of um, of how you're re reacting right now to this situation. Don't be scared or, or act scared in front of your kids because, let me see, I'm trying to see my teeth. Sorry, I guess I'm on live. I guess it wasn't appropriate. But listen, if your kids see you scared, they're going to be scared. Okay? So even if you have to pretend in front of the children, pretend in front of them and go in your closet and pray, or go in your bathroom and pray, okay? Because we don't want to send the kids into panic too, you know. And they look up to us, and they 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 look to you. They want to see how you going how you gonna act. Is Mama scared? Is Daddy scared? Well, then I don't have a reason to be scared. So don't, you know, don't send your kids into a panic, okay? So I pray that me coming on today was a blessing for you in some type of way, <laughs> and that you will try this shrimp creole because it really is good and it's easy it's good <laughs> you can add it into your little recipes you know stuff you can make really quick on a day you don't really feel like cooking so yolanda this song this is uh miranda curtis you are my strength so when you go to youtube miranda curtis you are my strength okay so I'll uh, I'll post tomorrow. Um, oh, I'm gonna post y'all my corned beef and cabbage. I already posted the video, so you know mine's in the oven uh, for St. Patrick's Day. I got two corned beefs in the oven. I'm gonna cook my cabbage. Uh, I had the cabbage in a little bit, um, so we're gonna have that for dinner with some cornbread. I may throw some potatoes in my cabbage, but I'll uh, I'll post the picture of it if you just wanna see it. <laughs> oh, Sharon. <laughs> easy for you too so be encouraged be encouraged you have nothing to fear you really don't you really don't you have nothing to fear get that down in your spirit that God didn't give you that spirit of fear he didn't give it to you so if he didn't give it to you where did it come from get rid of it trust God why not why not trust him? He's in control anyway. Why not trust him? We have no say so. Why not trust him? <laughs> trust him. <laughs> all right, be blessed. Sleep good. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Everything's gonna be all right. You'll see. Let them. Let the people do what they need to do, y'all. Stay home. Let them get get this stuff figured out and, and then we'll be back to school back to work everything's gonna be okay for a little bit and then we'll go through another crisis okay and we're gonna be here for each other again but jesus is here for us all amen <laughs> so be blessed <laughs>